It's Tony Lockhart here. This video is going to show you a couple cheats on how to go and get your characters to look like they're walking. All right, so the two cheats that I'm going to do is to one, get my character to slide across the screen as I cycle all of the frames of animation. And the second one, I'm going to go and draw a background and I'm going to slide that behind the character to get that Scooby-Doo effect. Let's get started with the first. So let's just quickly take a look at what we've got. I have eight drawings. They're all doubled in the exposure, so that way I'm animating on twos. And I wanna do my first little cheat. So in Harmony, you can scoot the timeline way out here, give it an F5 so the background goes and extends. And then what you wanna do is to go over here and select all of your frames of animation. And when you right click, you can do something called creating a cycle. So right click, menu pops up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this 10 times, because 10 times 16 is 160, and if you go to my end of my timeline, it looks like I'm at about 150, okay? Next, what I wanna do is something called uh, transformations. So if you scoot off to the left over here in Harmony, what you could do is you can select any layer of artwork and then you can move it to wherever you want it to go, which is really handy. Notice that a little black dot appeared right there on the timeline. That means you have a, a piece of location information that's been shared. So what I could do is I can go anywhere in time, perhaps to 50, and then I can go and take this and transform it to the next location. So what it's done is it's made a brand new frame right there and it's connected all of them. Let's go play that now. So it's a really handy trick to be able to go and get your character that's looping in a cycle from one side of the screen to the other. But you should note that it looks a little odd as if the character is like really not planting its feet on the ground. So there's a couple other things you could do to refine this. What I can do is I'm gonna select this actual keyframe. I can either delete it um, by pressing F7 or I can click hold and I can drag it somewhere else in the timeline. So it's a little finicky, but hopefully that does it. There we go. So now let's drag it over here to 90. Notice the stop point is just off screen, but it's gonna take me 90 frames to get there. Let's go and play this animation and see if it works a little bit better. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, so in the previous cheat, what we did was we went and drew this character and then we transformed it. So instead, let's go and take this cycled animation because we've got it for 150 frames and it's all in place. Let's go and take this and make a background and kind of do that Scooby-Doo effect. So I wanna go and create a brand new layer. This will be my background that's gonna be sliding back and forth. And what I wanna do is get my brush and if I zoom out really, really far away, what I could do is hold down the shift key and get some kind of a straight line. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna let go. Now let's come up with a couple little pieces of grass that are gonna show up and they're gonna repeat as we cycle through the animation. So if you kind of zoom in, you could see I've got these little pieces of foliage and I'm gonna go and select them I'm gonna give it a control C and a control V. And if I zoom back out again, you can see what I wanna do. I wanna take these and I'm gonna scoot them way out here. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Whoops, let me go and select all of these guys. Give it a control C, control V and I wanna just click, hold, drag, and scoot them out here. So now I've got enough of these pieces that I could slide across the screen as this character is walking. Let's go to the end of the animation in the timeline, press F5 so that stays on screen. And in the same way I transform the character, now what I wanna do is go to the beginning of the animation, select and transform this uh, piece of artwork and I want, let's go start it by putting this, this little thing. Let's put that right there, okay, right by the end of the screen. Now what I wanna do is to go to the end, uh, let's say 130 frames, 
And let's go and move this thing across where another one of those pieces ends right there at the same location. You can turn on your onion skin to see if that's gonna work for you, but it should in theory loop just perfectly. All right, let's go hit the play button and see if that worked. And I put my camera mask on. Okay, so even though the character is cycling in place like we did, it's only eight drawings, but now we've got this background layer that's moving as well. And similar to what we did with the previous character, uh, what you could do is you can go and modify and adjust these the timing just by hitting plus signs or minus signs. And you can also change the spacing as well, which is to go and adjust as you uh, drag these things across. All right, guys, so go give this a shot. Whether you take the character and transform them across the screen or make some kind of a background element that cycles and transform that across the screen, you can get like a really easy cheat to your walk cycle. Thanks for watching. Bye.